It's Wednesday and the third day of our cruise. We're just arriving in Ketchikan, the salmon capital of the world. As you can see, it's very cloudy, a little cool and pouring with rain. Today we're actually taking our first excursion on the cruise, which we're getting excited about. We're getting ready with plenty of rain gear to protect us. We've now arrived in the port and there's a celebrity ship moored in front of us. Here are a few pictures of the town of Ketchikan itself. And as you can still see, the clouds are well down. It is pouring with rain and we're just getting ready to leave our cabin and go down to disembark the ship and start our tour. most of my life here in southeast Alaska, Ketchikan primarily. So this is home for me and I'm happy to be your local guide today. Joining us on board today, my two wonderful capable deckhands. We've got Jess and Brooke on board. Hot tea, as well as our signature hot chocolate, which I highly recommend. On a morning like this, it's a great way to start. You'll also notice that throughout the vessel we've provided you with sought to establish this favorable anchorage as the center of activity on this island we now call Rebellica Gato. Vying against a trade post that had sprung up around Ketchikan Creek to the south of Port Cove and long a native fish camp, and also against the fishing village of Lori in Naha Bay to the north. Here are some pictures of our first sighting of some bald eagles that are in the trees. Brooke and Jess will be on outer decks to help you. Here is another eagle on top of the lighthouse. Today they built it out of concrete, a little different design. And this is actually not an uncommon design for lighthouses in southeast Alaska for that reason. Here he comes. Sometimes that brings them through the water surrounding Ketchikan. Humpback whales, that is. We also have transient orca whales that we occasionally see in these waters. Oh, okay. more than a thousand years, the red cedar and more common yellow cedar are prized for their fine grain and strength. For Alaska natives, cedars were historically the most... The weather had cleared up after our excursion and we had some time on our hands before we had to board the ship. And we spent some time looking around the shops and buying some souvenirs. Yeah. Here's a view of the ship and 
where our cabin was located. We're back on the ship and back in our cabin and here are some views of Ketchikan under the sunlight, totally different from when we arrived this morning when it was pouring with rain. We're now getting ready to leave Ketchikan and sail away for our next destination, which will be Sitka tomorrow. We had a great evening in the schooner bar listening to Peter Ritz.